He's the bravest of all Waddle Dee kind. It's Bandana Waddle Dee from the Kirby series. For those of you who have never heard of Bandana Waddle Dee, he's one of Kirby's most valued friends and made his first appearance in the game Kirby Superstar on the Super Nintendo in 1996. But he wasn't playable until Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which released on the Wii in 2011. Bandana Wild D is considered to be the right hand man to the self proclaimed King DDD, and is a part of the species of characters known simply as Waddle Dees. Waddle Dees are often considered to be the weakest enemy in the Kirby series, much like Goomba is in the Mario series. Not only that, but the Wild Dees are genuinely pacifists, which is why I'm fairly certain it was easy for King DDD to take over them as their king, quote unquote. But not Bandana Wild D, he's a go getter, and was awarded two things by King DDD to make him stand out. A blue bandana and a spear. That's how you know he's a force to be working with. Not only that, but when Kirby goes out on an adventure, he's always willing to tag along. However, there's one adventure he is yet to be on to get a spot as a fighter in the Super Smash Bros. roster. So, starting off, Bandana Wild D would be a very light character. He'd have a total of four jumps and he would be able to glide using a parasol. But now, let's dive into his color schemes. For Bandana Wild D's default appearance, he'll be in the traditional Waddle D color scheme with a blue bandana. His first three alts will have his color schemes changed to his multiplayer colors, which have been yellow, light blue, and green. For his fourth alt, he turns entirely pink, an obvious reference towards Kirby himself. For his fifth alt, his body turns dark purple, which references Meta Knight. For his sixth alt, he turns entirely black and white, which fits the theme that all the Kirby characters have. For those who don't know, this references the Game Boy Pocket screen color, which is a variation of the Game Boy, which is where Kirby's first game is from. And the final will have him turn brown. This references Axe Knight from Kirby Superstar. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into his neutral attacks. Now coming up with a moveset for Bandana Wall D was actually not that hard, and that's mainly because both Kirby and Super Smash Bros have the same general gameplay style. Oh, and did I mention that both series were developed by the same man? Anyway, starting off with his jab, it'll be a one hit rapid jab that has Bandana D rapidly stab his spear forwards, kinda like Mad Knight's jab. For a side tilt, he'll thrust his spear forwards. It has some start lag, but it is his longest range neutral attack. For his down tilt, he'll use his spear thrust ability on the ground. It actually makes the Bandana Wall D move a little bit, but it does end with some end lag. For his up tilt, he'll thrust his spear high in the sky. It's quicker than the side tilt, but it doesn't deal that much damage. Now for his forward smash, Bandana Wall D will utilize a tool that he's not as well known for having. A Parasol. To simply open the Parasol, which actually has a little splash effect. It's better to use this move if an opponent is right in front of Bandana Wall D though. For his down smash, he'll spin his Parasol around himself. Despite that, this move will automatically launch foes on impact. For his up smash, he'll open up the parasol right above himself. It's a lot stronger than his forward smash, but it does end with quite a bit of end lag. For his neutral air, he'll spin his spear multiple times, very similar to a few characters in Smash. It deals multiple hits of damage until the final hit. For his forward and back air, he'll thrust his spear like he did for his side tilt. And just like Sephiroth, Banan Wall D can stick to walls if he uses this move. For his down air, Bandana Wall D will immediately thrust downwards with a spear. This move is extremely deadly, as it will be a very strong aerial. Unfortunately, it will almost guarantee a stock loss if you used over the blast zone, so be careful. And finally, for his up air, he'll pierce his spear upwards. It comes out fairly quick, but it doesn't deal a lot of damage compared to the other aerial attacks. But where Bandana Wall D shows his true strength is with his special attacks. For Bandana Wall D's neutral special, he'll use his Parasol. For this attack, Bandana D will spray some water from his Parasol. It's a move that can actually hit multiple opponents if they happen to be too close. However, that's only if you tap the special button. Now if you decide to hold it for about 3 seconds, Bandana Wall D will actually shoot out a big water ball that deals multiple hits of damage. This attack actually comes from the completely underrated game Kirby Battle Royale. Seriously, I'd, I'd recommend trying it out. It's actually, it's actually really good. For Bandana Wall D's side special, he'll throw his spear. Despite that sounding lame, this will be a pretty strong attack. Similar to the Link's arrows, this will linger onto the foe for a few seconds. Again, that's only if you tap the special button. If you keep the special button held down for 5 seconds, he'll actually throw 3 spears instead of 1. 
The three spears aren't as strong as the original spear, but they do travel faster and farther. I should also mention that you can actually charge this up while moving. Now for Bandana Wild D's down special, he'll use his parasol and spin it below him, simply called the parasol drill. You can actually use this special for as long as you want, but it's not recommended. Bandana Wild D will be locked into place and can't move if he does this, so only use it if you absolutely need to. It deals small, multiple hits of damage, kind of like Nessa's side special, but also has one unique feature. In the air only, Bandana Wall D will automatically descend diagonally downwards if you use it in the air. It still deals small, multiple hits of damage, but it automatically stops after three of those small hits. And finally, for Bandana Wall D's up special, he'll use his spear like a helicopter blade. It's your simple move that deals multiple hits of damage, just like King K. Rule's up special, but it'll automatically go into freefall after using it. And now, for his final smash. Bandana Wall D's final smash will be... Megaton, Megaton Punch! Punch. This will be a cinematic final smash that starts with Bandana Wall D lunging forward to grab the opponent. Only one opponent can be grabbed, and if one opponent gets grabbed, they'll be pulled in. The cinematic starts with Bandana Wall D punching them from the sky until the opponent is sent crashing down to the ground. After the opponent lands on the ground, Bandana Wall D will unleash his final punch on the foe. After that final punch, the camera zooms out to see all of Planet Popstar getting completely cracked in half, ending the cinematic. This small smash is a direct reference towards Bandana Wall D's first appearance in the minigame Megaton Punch. The stage of choice is Waddle D Town from Kirby and the Forgotten Land. This stage is similarly designed like the King of Fighters Stadium, where it's completely flat and there are invisible walls. In the background, various Waddle Dees will be cheering on. Speaking of which, depending on who's winning, a Waddle Dee will actually give some food to the currently winning player. Unfortunately, there aren't any songs that tie into Bandana Wall D, so I'll be going with some of the songs from the various Kirby games.
In total, 16 songs would be included, 11 of which would be remixed. This may seem like a small amount of songs, but I think this is a good amount for Bandana Waddle Dee. And that would be if Bandana Waddle Dee joined Super Smash Brothers. I'm honestly shocked by the fact that we only have three Kirby characters on the roster. Seriously, it's been 16 years since King DED joined, and he's been the most recent Kirby character. I strongly believe that if we were to get another Kirby character, it should be Bandana Waddle Dee. Anyways, do you have a character you'd like to see be given a Smash moveset? If so, let me know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe? That way you can get notified when I put out any Super Smash Bros. moveset videos. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.